Okay, so um, I saw their video on uh, Schlieren photography. I was trying to do some Schlieren uh, with my uh, my mirror over here. Let's take a look over here. This little, maybe you can't see it. That's sitting on the floor down there. Some little bathroom mirror that we got from the, you know, local crap store. And uh, it is, it's the optics on it is terrible, of course. It's got a lot of aberrations. And uh, I was not able to get a good Schlieren uh, image. And so they claimed that they were doing Schlieren with one of these things. And this is also for solar power. And might be able to do some. Uh, Neat other projects. Maybe make a death ray with it. We'll see. So they always draw a picture of a little sun on here. I'm not sure how to open up this box. So let's see if we can get this box open and take a look at our reflector mirror. Okay, it looks like I'm going to need directions on how to open the box. I might have found a way though. Looks like maybe it's put together in two halves. Like to not damage the mirror on the inside. And hopefully keep this box so I can store store the mirror. It's always good to have a safe place to store optics because they're very delicate. And uh it's always a good use for a jeweler screwdriver, opening boxes. Oh. Oh. We can open it up on this side. Here we go. Ah, oh, there we go. And... Here is our reflector. It looks like it's taped down. It's a concave reflector dish. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? 17 inches. Uh, I thought about getting the next size up, but um, you know, I didn't really need something too too big. I mean, this is this is already freaking huge, and it looks like it's going to be pretty good quality. Let's let's take the shrink wrap off and see what it looks like. Warning, do not leave indirect sunlight unattended. Not for use near a window. They want you to find someone, I guess. But the focal length, I think the focal length was around maybe 12 inches or so. This is a 17 inch reflector and it had one of the the largest focal lengths. And I wanted a focal length that came out a little bit further. I think you get less spherical aberrations. You have a longer focal length. And I um, wanted to do maybe some directed energy stuff with it too. And so that will give me room to put the optics in there. And we will see. Looks like there might be a film on the inside. It's got some writing on it. It says peel me. Oh my gosh. I'll try not to touch the optics with my fingers, because that's never good for optics. Your oils on your hand will stick to it, damage it. It's got a protective coat. Sometimes they'll have anti-reflecting coatings and other things. Okay. My god. This stuff is difficult to get off. Okay, there we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. And, oh, I guess there's a film over it. Oh, I'm blinding the camera. See, there's a film right here telling you to peel up from here. Let's see if I can figure out how to... Oh, look at that. It's 
beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, I think I'm going to leave the film on it for right now, but look at that. It's excellent image. Let's see if we can focus that light. Bring it to a focus. Okay. So let's uh, put it back in the box and maybe we'll take it outside and give it a little test and see see how it works. Okay, it looks like it's a sunny day today and I just wanted to check out how good of a focal plane this, this uh, reflector has. Sure, you are recording right? dangerous thing. You know, be careful about the reflection that's coming back off of this. If it does come to a focus. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, huh? Okay. Let's see if we can find the focal point. The sun is over there. focus. Oh, look at that. Wow. Zoom back a little bit. focus there. Catching the thing on fire. Looks like it definitely caught the wood on fire. Anyway, looks like it's got a pretty good focal point. We'll do some more experiments with this. This is Dr. James and thanks for watching.